Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and if you'd like to apply to be a guest, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Be a Guest to Apply. All right, so I have Jeff Bitten on the line, and he's CEO over at Pitch59. Jeff, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Adam. Appreciate it. Or I should say, welcome back to the show. I know we've spoken before. I mean, you're a return guest. Love having you on here. And uh, I'm telling you, like, after we did an audio interview before, but I like your product so much. I like what you're doing so much. I'm like, man, we have to get a video of this thing, number one, because um, I want I want people to see what you're doing. Because uh, so we're going to go through a demo. We're going to show them what the what the cards look like, how it works. I mean, it's beautiful. Um, so but maybe just for the people that didn't catch some some of the previous recordings we've done. Um, let's just start from the beginning. I mean, tell us your background and how you got started as an entrepreneur. Yeah, thank you. Um, so, yeah, I'll just give you a shortened version of it. I grew up in a small town in Idaho. And then when I was going to college, I went and sold pest control in Southern California for four years to get through college. And then uh, while I was still in college, I started up a carpet cleaning company in Rexburg, Idaho. And uh, I did door to door sales with that too. And um, door to door sales is always something that worked well. I just, I wasn't a pushy salesman, but I knew that if people were interested, I was probably going to walk away with the sale because I knew how to talk to people and how to communicate. And um, anyway, I and then I grew my carpet cleaning company over the next nine years. Then I bought out my brother's cleaning and rest, uh, cleaning company down in Fresno, California. That one went well. So we, he and I partnered up and we purchased a cleaning and restoration company in Humble, Texas, uh, right uh, in the Houston metro area. And um, the first year that we owned this company down here was terrible. We lost about $150,000 on the restoration side of the industry because of some things that were outside of our control. And so we were trying to figure out how to bump up all of our cleanings to subsidize all the losses we were taking with restoration. And we were just thinking, well, we need to spend more money on all the marketing platforms that are out there. I mean, we spent a lot of money already, but we were thinking we need to bump that up to try and increase that and get more customers coming in on the, on the, on the cleaning side. And the more I thought about it, like the more sick I became because one, as a small business owner, I could not stand advertising on all those other platforms, mm -hmm. whether it was print marketing or, or um, online marketing, like a lot of it is just really expensive, very little return. Um, it, it, a lot of fake and deceptive leads. Uh, we were just having issues with biased rankings and fake reviews and all that kind of stuff. And the more I thought about it, I'm like, oh, we need to get down to whatever works. And I thought, what is the best marketing and advertising I've ever done? And I went back to those days of doing door-to-door -door sales. And I'm like, I don't have the time to go out and knock everybody's doors and annoy everybody on their doorsteps. But that was so effective because people love to hire people that they know, like, and trust. It didn't yeah. matter which company logo I had on my shirts. If I was there on their doorstep, there was a good chance that, they were gonna want, that I was going to get a sale. And it didn't matter if I was with Orkin or Terminex or the company that I was with because they hired me to do that service. They didn't hire the company. They were hiring me. Yeah. And yeah. so uh, anyway, I thought, I wish there there was a way that I could come to life and pitch people and let them know who I am as a human being first, what I do, what's unique and different about us. And then let them know that like th th through metaverbal and nonverbal communication, that we're going to do a good job for them, that we're trustworthy. We care about them as people. We ca care about our service and that we're not just trying to make a quick buck off of people. Mm. And so that's, that's where pitch 59 originated from. So, uh, you know, a lot of business owners, entrepreneurs, executives watching this, and some of them are, you know, some may be further along in their career or uh, more mature in their entrepreneurial career. Maybe some of them are just getting started. I mean, we all learn from the ups, the downs, the sideways, everything in between. Um, you know, what kind of things would you say, like, if you could go back to that Jeff that was just getting out here, just getting started as an entrepreneur again, I mean, what kind of things would you tell them? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, well, I wouldn't make a lot of the uh, the overinvestment uh, spending that I would that I did back then. Mm -hmm. um, but I probably would have just focused more on relationships and the networking referrals uh, that it works so well now. And yeah. so um, I would probably spend more effort and focus on that. Yeah, that's a big deal. Um, me too, by the way, <laughs> when yeah. I think about things and when I think about like numbers and other things like that, even in growing our agency and things that we do on our end, we're like, man, why aren't we doing some of the basics? Like we have a huge network of people that love us. Like, why don't we just contact them? So yeah. I love, I love yeah. what you said there. Cause sometimes the basics just work. 
Yeah. Um, and then, I mean, speaking of the basics, like the, the idea of the, the door-to-door sale for those that haven't done it, I mean, that's an art in itself. And the matter that you've been able to do and translate that into Pitch 59, which we'll go through the demo, we'll do all of that, but maybe give a little bit of insight into why um, or like what makes door to door like effective in general, because what you've done essentially is you've, you've taken, you know, the in between not and you've made it feel like door to door. But for those that are watching this, that don't have any experience with that, like they don't know why that works so well. Yeah. Well, one of the problems that I currently have, like with commercials, mm-hmm. is that the companies, the companies think that the more fake they can look, the more professional they look, the more it's going to resonate with customers. That's not necessarily the case. And you see that working so well with like YouTubers and with different other people that they just come to life and they're real and they have mistakes and they, they say the wrong thing sometimes, but it works. And a lot of people really gravitate to that. And people make emotionally based decisions when it comes to financial uh, purchases. Mm-hmm. And so we, what the world wants to tell us is that you need to focus on being perfect, not have any hair out of place, that you've got to say the exact right thing. It almost become robotic, but in reality, consumers will choose the, the people that they know, like, and trust and that they feel comfortable with mm. 100% of the time over the companies that they just don't relate with. And so yeah. the, the music and the beautiful thing about the door-to-door sales thing was I could come to, to them as a human being and say, hey, my name is Jeff. I'm a college student going to this school and I grew up working on a farm and this is what I did. Mm-hmm. And this is what I believe and this is who I am. And if you believe that too, and if you think that that's something that you can work with, then I would love to work with you guys. So. Awesome. Yeah. Well, let's um let's transition. I have a bunch more questions for you, but I think it'd be better if we answer these questions and if we go through it as you actually show us the platform because it's beautiful. And when people see this, I mean, they'll get it immediately. So um, yeah. I, I'll turn over the um, and let, let's get to sharing. So if we want to start cool. there. Okay. Can you see that? Okay. I sure can. All right. So I'll, yeah, I'll just give a quick explanation of how page 59 works and, and uh, what's unique and different about it. So, okay. So yeah, I'll just quickly explain what pitch cards are and how they work and what the, the pitch 59 platform is. So at pitch 59, we do these things called pitch cards and these pitch cards allow you to come to life and pitch people for 59 seconds. That's hence the pitch 59. Um, can't be anything longer than 59 seconds, and it has to be done by an owner or employee of the company. So no models, no actors, no com- and, uh, no um, no computer animation. It has to be real people doing these pitches. So it's designed really to be to be authentic, right? Yeah. And and is the is the minute thing? I'm curious. Is the minute thing? Is that come from the door to door days? Like it just works? I'm just curious on that one. So that's a good question. So we actually did tests. We we tried to pitch uh, what we did in 30 seconds or less. It was just too fast. You didn't get a good taste of who the person was. Anything over a minute, though, was too long. So we went ahead and pegged it at 59 seconds and said, let's ask everybody to keep it to 59 seconds. And it's actually turned out to be a really good time limit for people. You get enough of a, a feel for the people that it works. That's awesome. Sh- show me more. That's awesome. Okay, so on these pitch cards, um, so you get your 59 second pitch there. And then we only accept real video reviews from clients. So when people review your company, they oh, do it wow. in person up to 29 seconds long here. Oh, that's huge because you said, like you were saying earlier, like, you know how those, the, the problem with like fake reviews yeah. or this or that, like, no, like your clients here, you're like, you want to see, you just scroll up and they're like, dang, I, I'm going to tell the other co-founder here, Shirag, I think we need this, like for our clients, our agency clients and stuff like that, because yeah. th- how much more effective is this? Go, go ahead. I'm getting excited and I keep cutting you off. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. So nothing on Pitch 59 is anonymous. There's already way too much anonymous stuff in the world. We're trying to bring it back to a human connection. And so in order to do that, you've got to take responsibility for what you say and do. So on Pitch Cards, everything is done in person. Uh, your contact button here, I'll switch over to our company pitch card here. Um, the contact button has all of the ways to get in touch with you. So you can call email, you can get directions, you can, uh, schedule appointments. You can request that we contact you Mm. and all pitch cards have the same features here. And then that's also how you can leave a video review for somebody else right there. Uh, Um, the more information icon has, you can put on your website, your Facebook, your LinkedIn profiles, you can put on your pricing, you can put on your hours, you can put on whatever details you want customers to know about you and your service. Oh, so somebody can put this like on their LinkedIn too, right? Is that what you're Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. Yep. Wow. Page 59 works on every platform. That's huge. So, and then also uh, with photos, you can add as many pictures as you want to your pitch card and your, your pictures can be just, uh, you, they can be your product, they can be your service, they can be your family, your team, mm-hmm. whatever you want. Um, you can just kind of highlight and showcase your, your product there. 
And then the, the really unique and cool thing about these pitch cards is that they're movable. So I can swipe up and share pitch cards with somebody else. Mm. Quick share allows me to share my pitch card directly with somebody else that has the app. If they have the app without uh, swapping contact information. So I can just type somebody's name in there and just send their pitch, my pitch card to them. But that's not the only way you can send pitch card. You can send it through text, email, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can do it on any social media platform. Mm. You can copy the link wherever you want. You can click on the more and it'll pull up all of your native apps mm. so that you can sh share it on those. But also every- And so every somebody just real quick, just to clarify yeah. on that. So if somebody wants to, so I'll give you an example. I was doing a, um, a keynote for like, uh, for a, a big, pretty big organization the other day. And they said, yeah. you know, how can they learn more? And so what I did was I sent them the website. I'm like, okay, missionmatters.com. Yeah. If I would have had one of these created, I could have put that link in the, in the section. And now, you know, a couple thousand people would have saw that and possibly would have seen the entire pitch and everything depending and including customer testimonials and all those other things. I mean, do, right. I, do I have that concept right? Cause this is a big deal if I do. Correct. This is uh, a lot of people call these pitch cards travel size websites. Ah. Uh, they're just small, concise. They give you enough information that you need to know about the service in order to make a, a, an educated decision. Mm -hmm. And you also get to know the people in it, but you don't have all the other fluff and all the other stuff that you don't need. Yeah. Um, the QR code also, every pitch card gets its own QR code. So everybody at home or everybody that's watching this, if you'll pull out your camera, I'll give you just a second. Mm -hmm. Just scan that QR code. You'll see that it doesn't require anybody else to have the app or a Pitch 59 account. Everybody can, if you scan that QR code or if you text or email this pitch card to somebody, it's going to show up on their phone just the same. They'll be able to watch the pitch, contact it, share it. They can do everything with that pitch card right there. Wow. So um, it, all, all sharing options are completely on the table. And then the other cool thing about this is when other people receive your pitch card, it shows up like this and it says, would you like to put this pitch card in one of your pockets? And you get to go on to pitch 59 and create your own pockets. Mm. So when I go to my pockets page here, I've got all these different pockets of different companies and services and organizations and um, just a whole bunch of different um, categories. Mm -hmm. And I can go to like my BNI uh, chapter here. And now whenever I want to refer out anybody else in my BNI chapter, I just go, go to their pitch card, tap on their pitch card, and then I swipe up and share that with somebody else. Wow. And that allows her to come to life and pitch her service and her company in person rather than relying on me to try and sell her service for her. Um, let me give you, Adam, if it's okay. And that's, you... that's efficient though, for the record. So normally when really you is. have like, like, think about it this way, I, like all the time I want to connect people and I'm like, and just because I, I mean, I've done thousands of interviews and sometimes yeah. somebody will say, Hey, do you know somebody that does this? And I'll say, yeah, here, here goes their website or here goes their contact information, but they want to know a little bit more. So maybe they want to, and I don't mean this in a bad way, but maybe they want to jump on a call with me and maybe they want yeah. to, you know, you don't have time to jump on a call to give a referral every single time, depending on how many people you talk to, right? Like right. you spend a right. lot of time doing that. So if you give them this link and they have a pitch card, it's like, hey, watch their video, watch their, like all their information is on there and they're able to interact and everything's connected. So they can almost make that informed decision right there if they want to, or if you have more than one person, I'm just thinking about your BNI group, right? Like I'm yeah. You know, okay, let's say there's two financial advice or a financial advisor, accountant, attorney, whatever. If you send them all, then it's like, all right, they can do their research because they're the one looking for the referral too. And yep. it's a win-win and everything's all set up and it's just very organized. And it also shows that you have enough trust in that person that you have this type of contact information like readily available, like you've right. referred them in the past. Right. But, I mean, there's layers on here. This is awesome. Well, the other, the other cool thing is I can go to like one of these pockets here mm -hmm. and then I can click on that button up in the right-hand corner and share the entire pocket with somebody. Oh, wow. so, so that way I can send my entire BNI chapter and they, they've got 20 different services right there when they open that mm -hmm. pocket that everybody comes to life and pitches them for 59 seconds. Wow. Um, Adam, if it's okay, let me give you a quick taste of how these pitch cards work and how much more effective they are than, um, than just like a business card it. or Let's like do a... It. Let me give you a quick example here with Courtney Widener. She's one of my good friends here in Houston. She's got purple and blue hair tattoos. She sells commercial insurance. I ask people very frequently, would you right from the beginning with just her picture or her logo, would you hire her to be your uh, commercial insurance agent? And the response that I get from a lot of people is like, um, I don't know. I, she doesn't look my, like the typical insurance agent that I, mm -hmm. I use. But let me show you the difference when she comes to life here. And then after hers, I'll just show, show you the beginning of a few other pitches here. 
My name is Courtney Widener. I'm the owner of Widener Insurance, and we are providing personal and commercial insurance for small business in the state of Texas. So I know I don't really look like an insurance agent. <laughs> A lot of people, when they see me, they're just like, oh, you do insurance, but I've been doing this for over 20 years, and I know insurance like the back of my hand. We like to take insurance to a new place. Insurance is something that can be really boring and tedious. A lot of folks don't know what they need for their insurance protection. It's just this thing that everybody understands that they have to have. So we like to take this whole insurance buying experience and make it into something that is understandable. So here at Weiner Insurance, we're all about communicating in a way that's most effective for you and how you'd like to be talked to. So if you can hit that contact us button below, and I'll exchange our information. I am a texter, so you may get a text message message from me if that's cool and uh, we can start the conversation and we would love a chance to talk to you. So now I ask people, would you consider hiring her to be your insurance agent? And oh, for the, sure. Come on. She's amazing. The response I get from everybody is like, absolutely. In fact, several people, after we've done a demo with that, they've asked us to send her, uh, send them uh, her pitch card because they want to reach out to her and, and connect. And she's gotten several new clients from that way, uh, just doing demos. Wow. Um, but let me just give you a quick taste of the variety of, of industries and variety of pitch cards that are made out there. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Matt Fuller. I work for the Fitzpatrick Group. We are a full services financial firm, so really we can do anything and everything that any other financial services firm can do. But where we differentiate ourselves from everybody else is we like to take an educational approach. Our, our main mission... Hello, my name is Michael Bardet. I'm the general manager at Bobcat Home Furnishings Company. Living in Montana, we're blessed to have the outdoors in our backyard. Let our team at Bobcat take care of your home furnishing needs while you worry about getting outside more. While you're enjoying the outdoors. My name is Dominique Benson and I'm an independent beauty consultant with Mary Kay Cosmetics. <laughs> my ideal client, if I had to pick one, would be that mom that has tons of kids running around and a husband to take care of, and she's all over the place. Hi, I'm Brandon. I'm a young business owner, and I kill bed bugs. That's all I do. I have people call me all the time after they've thrown out their furniture, they've thrown out I mean, really nice couches. They just Anyway, you get the gist. It's just so much more compelling now to work with those people because you get you feel like you get to know them on a human level rather than just on a very, very professional level. So. All right. So all right. So all the cards that you showed us so far, they're all bu really business related. Are there any other type of pitch cards in general that uh, like tell us a little bit more about the platform? Yeah, so we have four different kinds of pitch cards. We The first one is called the business basic pitch card. This is one that's built for like small business owners or uh, independent contractors mm -hmm. or large business owners. It doesn't matter the size of business. And uh, these are identifiable by the customer service and quality ratings. These are also found on the search engine. So when I go to the Pitch 59 search engine here, I can, for example, type in carpet cleaning here. Yeah. And it'll pull up all the companies that do carpet cleaning services near me. And I can just go through and watch their pitch. From here, I can swipe up and share them. I can swipe down and pocket them. Wow. But um, then we also have employee pitch cards for sales reps, technicians, employees of companies. And these don't have the customer service or quality ratings. They're also not found on the search engine unless somebody uh, searches by their specific name right there. Mm. We also have nonprofit pitch cards for churches and charities and missionaries and other nonprofits that are out there trying to uh, kind of encourage people to get exposure for their cause. And these pitch cards work the exact same way. And then last but not least, we have these things called resume pitch cards. And these are built for people that are looking for a job. It allows them to come to life and pitch people, um, pitch owners and, and uh, employers to let them know who they are as a human being in addition to their resume and their application. Mm -hmm. And Adam, I cannot tell you how effective these are. Uh, everybody that applies to work for Pitch 59, now we require them to create a resume pitch card and send it that way. Mm -hmm. That way we get to know who they are. We have their resume right here on their pitch card. It's got all of their information. Wow. They can put on like their LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter, Instagram pages. Uh, they can put on all their details there. Mm -hmm. And then I can just swipe up and share this pitch card to other members of my team, or I can swipe down and put it in one of my pockets if we wanna uh, get a group of pitch cards together before we present it to the team. Mm. And then uh, the last thing that I want to show you here is uh, on, on these pitch cards is there's a new feature that's actually coming out at the end of next week hmm. called Flip Chat. 
and that'll allow you to just flip over anybody's pitch card and just chat with them right there. You can wow. text or video chat with them. You can attach your pitch card to that conversation. You can attach files or whatever, but it's on every pitch card. You can just go to anybody's pitch card and just flip it over and you'll be able to chat with them. So that'll be available next week. Wow, so, this is awesome. It's almost like, I mean, this feels almost like a, it's a, it's really, I mean, I know it's a pitch card. I know it's got business applications, but it really also seems just like a really cool social media platform. I mean, especially now that you have the contact function and the texting portion of it, um, man, it's awesome. And I see it as the community grows, as everything grows, um, just the interaction, the connectivity grows and really um, I, what I, one of the things I like the most is that the whole client testimonials, everything else that like you can yeah. really get a feel for somebody um, immediately without all the other like kind of thing that I would say exists on traditional social media, right? Like right. a video, like you can't, you're not going to fake all these different things. You're not these, like it's, it's all public. Like yeah. I think it just kind of, it's transparent. That's the word. Yeah, that's exactly right. And we're, that's, that's our goal is to humanize marketing, to make it more real between a business and consumer and B2B and everything and just let people get to know other people. So what is, um, so thank you for that. I mean, this is, this yeah. has been great. What, so tell me, what is the future of pitch 59 help um, hold? So I know you're, you're a visionary. I mean, what, what's next for pitch 59? Well, I can't release all the details <laughs> here, um, but we do have a lot of things up our sleeves that we're really excited about integrating um, and, and uh, bringing out to our, our client base. Mm -hmm. Um, we, uh, let me show you, uh, if it's okay, I'm going to share my screen one more time here. Yeah. And let me show you one of the cool functions that is a more recent function. Mm -hmm. um, now you'll notice above your own pitch cards, you have this edit icon that shows up in the right-hand corner there. It doesn't show up above anybody else's pitch cards. Mm -hmm. And what that does is when you click on that, that allows you to edit all of your pitch card information whenever you want. So I can go on there and change a name, phone number, email, all the details there, uh, pricing and hours and everything. And whenever I change anything, if I sent you my pitch card yesterday, Adam, and then today I change my phone number or my email, it'll automatically update on your phone. So you've always got my current yeah. update, contact information, current pitch and everything. But we also have a built-in recording platform here for a lot of, a lot of people don't feel comfortable doing video, mm -hmm. which is totally, totally normal. If you were really good at video, you'd probably be in Hollywood anyway. So um which adam you are so um hey but, i wasn't comfortable for years though just for the record yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe a couple thousand recordings after i'm like okay i can do this <laughs> right 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 but a lot of business people like they don't feel real comfortable in front of the camera so we've actually made it really simple to do your pitch we give everybody four options you can record your own pitch right here on the app we have a built-in uh, recording platform where you can just click on see questions just answer the questions while you record we have a built-in teleprompter where you can copy and paste wow. your pitch or write out your pitch and uh, it'll auto scroll for you while you record your pitch. We also have another option called the virtual video shoot. That's a $150 option that allows us to do a, a 10 or 15 minute, a zoom interview with you. And then we take that video afterwards. We edit it for you, uh, add on background music, just make it look good for you. And uh, you can use that for your pitch. Mm. Um, you can also schedule a professional videographer right here, and we'll send you pitch cards of different videographers that do services in your area, or you can upload a different pitch if you already have one that's done. Um, so that's just, we've, we're trying to make it as simple and as easy and seamless as possible to not only edit your pitch card, but to do video. Man, right, right here. I got, I got one for you right now. I'm looking for a videographer in Houston. Send me that pitch card if it exists. See, this is how, what I like about the pitch card right there is I already got one. I'm like, I need a, I need a videographer in Houston. I'm for real. Um, I got a client out there we need to do a shoot for. So I'm like, come on. Not, so Adam, not we're going to do a real life experiment here. Do you have your phone with you? Um, I don't, it's all, it's okay. an studio note, but. Okay. Um, what I'll do is I'll, so that not everybody has your personal phone number. I'll text it to you afterwards. Okay. Okay. But what I can do is, or I can copy this link and I can put it in the chat as well. Or you can and, email it, whatever. It's or I good. can email it to you. Yeah. And so uh, you'll get that pitch card that'll pop up on your phone. Even if you don't have the app, it'll just work the, the same as, as the others. So. Oh man, that's awesome. And thank you. See, this is, I, I can already see it. Like this is how business is done. So I'll tell you what I was going to do prior because I didn't have, I have videographers all over the place, but I don't have one in Houston. So I was going to go yeah. on Craigslist or I was going to have to send a couple other things. But now, you know, if I can see the, if I can go through, I already feel like I know the person better. I was going to go right. online, do a big search. This is going to save me time. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, in fact, we hear that all the time from 
people that contact people on their pitch cards, mm -hmm. one of the first things they always say is, I feel like I already know you. Like it already breaks the ice. The introduction yeah. is already done. You're just ready to business at that point. So. Man, that's huge. So um, yeah. I love it. I love what you're doing, Jeff. You're really, um, you're really um, making commerce easy. You're connecting people. Um, you're creating yeah. a new, in my opinion, a new social network that's of value um, and maybe going, getting closer to what some of the original, um, let's say, connecting sites were meant to do yeah. <laughs> before they got uh, whatever happened to them. No comment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so Jeff, yeah. that being said, um, now, I know you work obviously with the, um, cause, because of the BNI group, you work with, with many different types of companies. Do you work with schools? I mean, tell us a little bit more about how the enterprise level client can work with Pitch 59. Yeah, so we've got some, uh, I won't name drop these companies yet because we're just finalizing deals, but we've got some large corporations and large, large companies that are uh, creating pitch cards for all of their employees right now for their sales reps and their technicians and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a lot of BNI members that are joining all over the world or excuse me, all over the United States, not the world yet. Yeah. It's only uh, within the United States right now, but we just had our first couple of pitch cards created in Alaska um, about a week ago. And then um, well, a couple of other exciting things is we're currently working with a couple of universities that are going to be getting uh, resume pitch cards for all of their graduating students uh, wow. to help them get into the workforce and just help them with that referral and networking platform to, to help them get, get employed. So um, there are big things that are happening right now. Um, we expect by the end of the year, we should have tens of thousands of clients on Pitch 59. Man, that's awesome. What a rock star. I'm excited. I'm excited to watch the growth of this company. I'm great. I'm happy to bring this to my audience and uh, and share it with them because I, I think we're going to end up using it. I'm going to tell Shirag. He does all our software, but yeah. uh, I'm going to tell the other co-founder, Shirag, to watch this. And I'm like, come on, man. We need our salespeople. I need a pitch card. card. I want a pitch card too. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. they're just, and at the end of it, they're just cool. I like them. They look yeah. good and they're fun. And uh, and uh, I can just see like people like texting it to somebody that I'm looking at and be like, oh, okay, this is a person. This this isn't just somebody that's on the yeah. screen or like whatever in my, in, on my podcast, whatever. So I'm just right. excited about it overall. Um, yeah. So Jeff, if somebody's watching this and they want to connect and they want to learn more and connect with you and your team, I mean, what's the best way for them to, to get into this uh, in the pitch 59 and the network? Yeah, that's great. So um, the easiest way is, well, there's two things that you need to do. First of all, everybody gets a free app download, free signed, a free user account to send and receive pitch cards, to use a search function to do all that kind of stuff. I would encourage everybody to just download the Pitch 59 app right now. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, to create a pitch card, you go to pitch59.com. It takes about eight to 10 minutes. You do not need to have your video done before you create a pitch card. In fact, we ask everybody to go on and you buy your pitch card essentially first. And then, uh, and then over the next uh, couple of days or a couple of weeks, you get the chance to do your video and, and we can help you with that. Mm -hmm. um, so you go to pitch59.com, just click on the big orange button that says create your pitch card, and then make sure that you download the app as well. Um, to go over some uh, promotional pricing stuff that we have right now, Adam, um, we are, we're doing a deal for the first 10,000 clients that create their pitch cards where it's normally $35 a month to have a business basic pitch card. There's no cost per lead per, per anything else. There's no hidden fees. There's no, no contracts. It's, but uh, with the current promotion, it's just $99 for the first year. Mm. And then if you refer five other people that end up creating their pitch cards, your, your pitch card will become free for life. You never have to pay for Whoa. it again. That is only for the first 10,000 clients that we have sign up though. So if you're thinking about getting a pitch card, go get your pitch card for $99. And then get five friends or five other people that would use the pitch cards and that you want to get in your pockets and start referring and networking out. And then uh, you won't have to pay again. So it's pretty cool for those first early adopters. Man, that's a big deal. Um, and so what's, what's the website again? I want people to make sure to go in and check that out. Yeah, check it out at pitch59.com. Um, and then you can, there, you can just Google pitch59 as well. Um, but go to the app store or the play store and just type in pitch59, all one word download the app, and then go to pitch59.com to create your pitch card. You can also reach out to us or contact us through Pitch59 if you'd like help. Fantastic. Well, Jeff, really appreciate you coming on the show today and share more about your background and all the great stuff you're doing over at Pitch59. And for the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Definitely want you to be a return uh, listener and visitor. And Jeff, thanks again for coming on the show. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.